Yay! There we are. We are live. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We love just... it when the tech works. Yeah, which is rare these days. Rare. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. It is. We can attest, as <laughs> can our viewers. Absolutely. Absolutely. So frustrating because when it doesn't work, when it works, it's brilliant. But when it doesn't work, you just don't have any idea why it's not working. It's Press the button. And it can be so stressful. Yes. When yes. people are waiting for you and you said you would be live at a certain time. And yeah, it's crazy. But it worked. Yay. Here we are. <laughs> this time it worked. Well, we'll wait and see whether we hear from anybody to see whether it works. Yeah, hang on. I'll look on my phone. So in case anybody doesn't know, this is Sally and Josie. They are the owners and the creative designers behind the brand Iron Orchid Design, so IOD. Lots of people know it as just IOD, don't they? Um, and you keep thrilling us with your creations. And the latest one, which I've got to got to hold my hands up, goes that video was that was real fun. The um, MC Hammer one, and and the other one, the one that you did after <laughs> that. If if none of you have seen, it, we do it. have fun. We do. Yes, we. There's lots of giggling going on when we're creating those. Well, well, I did share it into the groups to show oh, everybody. Yes, yes, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yes, love so. all that. Like, you can't have fun with your business. When in your business, when can you have fun? You know, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's so That's true. right. I've, That's right. I've loved this kind of, um, ev like, evolving of, you know, your professional face mm -hmm. and um, bringing in the authenticity and just the realness of yeah. life and people people love that and so businesses have been embracing that and i have to tell you it sure does make it a lot more fun when you can you don't have to be overly professional i mean a little no. professionalism well, i feel like the the good, but the definition of professional has changed, changed. Yeah, 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 yeah for oh. sure i think you have to be you don't you you have to be you yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, did a live absolutely. earlier. I did a live earlier, and yeah. I told them I just dropped my phone down the toilet. You know, so and uh, <laughs> 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 and it was like, yes, oh it's so true yeah. because and it, it's relatable. Yeah. People yeah. people don't get emotionally attached to products. We get emotionally attached to each other, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's yeah. that's yeah. Cut. Community is what it's all about, especially in the I think in the creative industry. Like we are craving that connection with each other um, mm -hmm. and creativity is an, an amazing platform for that because you kind of are sharing your heart when you share yeah. your creation. It's so. inherently yeah. um, relational. Yeah. 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 And I, th I think people need to see the real, they the, they, there's a sense of trust if they feel they get to know the real you yeah. and they trust you. Otherwise, if you're just Miss Court yeah. right. in the news, then no one's going to believe anything that you say or do. I think that the difficulty comes when is when to do that, is when to inject your crazy personality into your business <laughs> without it being, you know, that there's got to I suppose, Too much. Yeah, I suppose that's where people find it difficult. They're, they're doing this business, it's working, so when do they start being, you know... Themselves. Right, yeah. right. It it is easier when you just start out that way, um, <laughs> because you know then you don't have to transition um, that way. But I think most people don't start out of the gate feeling that comfort level to just jump in and start being you know themselves and yeah. um, and then you know some people are introverted naturally, yeah, true. so yeah. it, them being quiet and more reserved is who they are authentically and that's okay too there's space yeah. for that and there's a natural progression i think of the the back and forth in the relationship because as you learn more about your community and your customers yeah. and who they are as well as honing your your niche mm -hmm. um and saying okay well we might not be for everyone we might be too much for mm -hmm. everyone for the masses, but our people get uh -huh. us and yeah. our people are telling us speaking that it, speaking it of that, you them. guys mentioned the MC Hammer um, <laughs> reel and we got a comment on there and we were honestly, we were just cracking up because it was so <laughs> mean, <laughs> but funny. They said, um, you're about 30 years too old to be <laughs> fools. 
I'll and, still allow um, it. Or no, acting like fools. Is that yeah. what I said? Yeah, I think. Uh, I, yeah, I think you're right. Acting, acting like, like fools. fools. So yeah. that actually prompted us to do a, a real responding to several comments that we get. Um, Cause you know, I mean, everyone's a critic online. And so yeah. we get a lot of critics and you just have to laugh. You just have to yeah. laugh it off and keep yeah. doing yeah. your thing. You get better and better at not, you know, water off a duck's back. It yeah. doesn't phase you because you know that the people who you're cultivating the long-term relationships with get it and mm -hmm. you're having fun together and you don't let, you know, a small handful of people who really usually when they they're commenting negatively like that, it's usually because they're unhappy. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I was really happy when I got my first nasty. I, I was really happy when I got my first nasty comment. I went and told a whole group of people. They were all very <laughs> upset for me. I'm like, no, I think it's great. There you go. <laughs> I'm growing. Yeah. Flip that. That's that right. new way to look. It at is. It, it is funny because so I mean, like, like anybody thought like you were dressed up as MC Hammer, thinking that you were, you know, you know like you were taking it really dead seriously. My new so career. Funny. <laughs> it was so funny, but it was brilliant. I really like that. Wait, wait a second. We're we we didn't <laughs> <laughs> right that's the thing it's just silly it's just the silly as soon as it come out of my mouth we're not on um, friends but for the people that don't, for the people that are watching that don't know your story of how you um developed your business and and, and how it evolved to what it is today especially as sisters that's what i think is very interesting yeah yeah so the, as far as the um origins of working together as sisters like we have always done everything together where it be whether it be business or trying something new we always feel like the other one has to do it if well, we love it i am the older <laughs> sisters so all right so a lot of copying takes place she says like I'll copy everything <laughs> she does. and it's true i have been tempted actually to do some pink undertone highlights but i can't because then everyone will know that i'm copying so i might just it's do a, a different color but i it's in an endearing part of sisters, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we do love, we love to do um, adventures together. So business ventures are no different. And we used to sell products door to door when we were little to earn extra money. We, we would made make these things. Christmas wreaths. You cut out a donut out of cardboard. Right. And they're, you know, maybe this big. And then we would clip juniper. I still feel the itch from and scratching from cutting <laughs> juniper bushes and then wiring it to it and mm -hmm. putting the ribbon on. And we and sold them for a dollar each and <laughs> people loved them. They did. I, they probably also felt like, oh, how cute. Two little girls. I got to support <laughs> them. So I don't remember how, like the how what our quality control was on that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we True. got our, our dad was a salesman. So we were we early immersed in the kind of the vibe of, of sales. Yeah, and learning how to entrepreneurship. Um, learning how to accept rejection, expect rejection, and mm -hmm. grow from rejection. Yeah, uh, that was right, something important. that was you know growing up. We we had to do that. We learned that, and I think that really helped us. When we were getting started, um, so fast forward to when we started Iron Orchid Designs. Um, well, we used to be, we used to design products um, and license. license them to different craft companies. And we worked for um, a, a large a company licensing. and licensed our products through them. And then we came up with the concepts that you now know as IOD. Um, so transfers, um, large for, you know, furniture and decor, stamps mm -hmm. that are large scale for walls, fabric and, and so on. And then um, moldings as well that can be used for all different types of um, decor mm -hmm. and lifestyle um, making. So we, uh, we started those and brainstormed those um, together and presented it to uh, this company. And um, they, they at first didn't 
get it. Um, they weren't about it because they were a craft, small craft company. And so paper crafting was their, their jam right. and people, um, you know, it, it was a new concept. And so again, that rejection, that initial rejection was disheartening because we could see it. We could envision it. We knew it was going to be amazing because that was our heart. Like our heart was more into the, um, home and yeah. decor and making on a larger scale was really what lit us up and, and one of our strengths is being able to envision something to build the picture of something and yeah. to build the story of something that we're projecting like the vision like how you could use it what it would feel like what it would look like how yeah. they would be applied and mm -hmm. and how these would work for like the at that time the community that we still had an understanding of because we had a background in um, like European fit wall finishes and muraling, and muraling decorative arts. Mm -hmm. right. um, but at the time, the company we were licensing to didn't. They didn't know that language mm -hmm. yet. And so there was that immediate hurdle. Yeah. And we were so excited. Like when we had this brainstorming session, you guys, it was like otherworldly. It was so inspired. Oh, it was so inspired. And, and we were so excited about it. So that initial, I don't think this is going to work. Um, rejection, um, was tough, but we, we pushed through and we helped to try to impart that vision. And basically it was like, well, we'll give it a try. Well, it took off. But not at first, actually. It we took, had to do we had some beat old street. fashioned beating the street. We went yeah. to our local stores um, to just kind of get that that product feedback from people mm -hmm. that were are going to be our that. ideal customer. And wow. even then, like if you talk to Bobby Eddy, yes, she will tell you she's like they can't. Like I think we dropped in on her we did. like three times. She was super busy. And just you know, if we could have a moment of your time and just pitching <laughs> uh -huh. how she would use them and stuff, and she's like, oh yeah, no, those seem those seem nice. nice. Yeah, um, sure. I'll get back to you. Yeah, nice so, with a bad word. Yeah, <laughs> rejection. Yeah, re friendly rejection. Yeah. 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 A little while later, yeah. though, when we had the, the products, because those were prototypes, when we had the products and we did a workshop and she attended, her mind She's was like, blown. She was using yeah. them and getting it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. people aren't going to automatically get your 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 thing and what you're doing. Um, but In we fact, learned one how of the to biggest, push through that. Yes. And one of the biggest things to know when you have an idea or you have a vision for something you need to um, nurture that and you need to know nobody is going to get your vision the way you do. Exactly. And don't yeah. let that deter you. Now, that right. doesn't mean that every idea is a winner and that you, you know, <laughs> but when you, you get to that place where you've processed through and you've done your, you know, the process for de diligent. determining your risk and the the market and the potential when you you've done all that and so you know you're doing this mm -hmm. you need yeah. to um really nurture that and not allow the fact that other people don't get it yeah. yet yeah. yet yeah. um don't let that I would, say, that I would say that i'll bet you any money it helps that your sisters i've got five so i know the deal and <laughs> if you're together you're just literally in, unstoppable you know do you know what i mean like that bond and yeah. having, having used to um, yeah. know they got it. But you can have a conversation in the room, you know the other one's thinking. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that, that does help you to keep your confidence and like you said, yeah. keeping your You're right. absolutely right. That That is a huge advantage because it, you, it does give you confidence and it does help to the, with the rejection when you're taking that rejection mm -hmm. with somebody else and yeah. it's less lonely um, and you yeah. have and that trust. support. And the trust, yeah. you know, you know, there's nothing like we, we just know this, but we verbalized it when our families came together and we had to go all in in order for, because it was growing so quickly. Um, we said the relationships are the priority. No matter what happens with our business, the relationships are the priority. And if we can't keep our relationship healthy, right we would give up the business before yeah. we would allow our relationships to be undermined. Oh, so exactly. when you know that and you know that um, 
this is someone that you can trust no matter what happens with the business that really does give you that foundation of confidence moving forward together right yeah. right that makes a difference and also you can you can you can sort of shout at each other without without being taken to the small claims court <laughs> you're yes. so right and in fact yes. the the i once in a while you can catch like content about doing business with family but i feel like there needs to be more of it because it's a thing people need to know what they're <laughs> doing a thing. it's a it is so amazing and so hard right. at the same time right. because yeah. you know how it is the people you love most and that you are the closest to you indulge your Mm -hmm. um you indulge yourself a little more with like allow mm -hmm. yourself to be a little freer with your words with your emotions sometimes we are shorter tempered with each mm -hmm. other yeah. than we would be well we also otherwise. know how to push each other's buttons oh yeah <laughs> and we can also be more sensitive yeah to yes. what the other is saying because we care more right. about mm -hmm. what they think so yes. if it's just um, another person, you know, that isn't your your sister and your best friend or your spouse, then you, you might know. be upset by what they say, but you're not going to wear it and, and really internalize it. So there's that dynamic, too, where we have had to learn communication skills because we're working together so closely um, that help us to navigate those. And, and we are, we're the better for it. Yeah. Our relationship is actually closer than it otherwise would be. Yeah. So you you, yeah, that's you just see it quite often with men. I don't know. I'm trying to think of other sisters that I know that are in business together. And I don't know if I do. Do you, Sarah? Yeah, when you see it, it it we it stands out because it's something in common. But um there's aren't the I wanna well, say the junk gypsies. I don't aren't know if they're they sisters. sisters. Okay. Are they sisters, the junk gypsies? I think some people call themselves sisters, don't they? Or the something sisters. But and you see it quite often, I think, with men, brothers that work together and father and sons, but not so much. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there might be a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Jonathan Mark Mendez is watching and he said, You two girls most definitely revolutionized the industry that we work in. And he's oh, that is we such a compliment. And coming oh. from you, Jonathan, that is such a compliment. <laughs> we love Jonathan. Jonathan. is our special guest at the event, so he'll be there. Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. We're so looking forward to it. We haven't seen him for a few years since we since... came to the UK last time. So. Yeah. And he actually came and was a yeah. special guest at our um, mixer for our stockists at that yeah, time. Yeah, we so got the opportunity he's just to see Jonathan he's again. Have you, was that the mixer that was in London in Maida Vale? Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. So I came back from Canada that day and I really yes. wanted to go. Yeah. And it was in the next road to where my mum used to live in London. And it was like, oh. I, I was just like, oh, you know, when you just so want to do something. And yeah, yeah. My mom. yes, yes. Mm. Well, you were missed. It was wonderful. It was mm -hmm. such a well, the venue was really, really neat mm -hmm. and intimate. Mm -hmm. And um, it it, tough, everybody it? there, it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. So, well, hopefully cool. it, you, it, you'll feel some of the same when you're with us this year. I think I'm sure you. Oh will. yeah, we're, we're so, so excited. excited. We are. We are so looking forward to this event and the way that everything came together and just worked out for us to be there is just like amazing. We're yes. so excited. <laughs> we are really excited. Everybody's really excited about you coming, but we were wondering whether or not your new product that you've been talking about. Um, I'm showing. We did something. We did it was one video on Instagram, I think. Or was it? Yes, I think there was. But the 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 um, I can't remember. The inlays. The, the inlays. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. We will definitely. We will um, be, be highlighting those, those and highlighting those and demoing those. We're getting so much. Um, feedback and questions and mm -hmm. excitement and buzz and we will definitely and we be... would love for uh your for the attendees to be able to get their hands yes. on them oh. and come up you like... know and just be able to get the sense for how they work because i think there's an intimidation factor but as they've been out on the market again we're we've kind of gotten used to um, bringing out something new and having mm -hmm. people be a little overwhelmed by it at first. And so yeah. we expected that. 
period. Yeah, there's a learning period. period. But it's definitely starting to catch wildfire. And uh, they we look want great. to bring they them. Look really good. I, I was really excited when I saw them. That this Essentially, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but what it looks like from the video is that there's some sort of print or ink on the picture and you sort of just basically push it into your painted finish. That's Look, essentially it. It is a, a real actual paint, paint, an artist quality pigment in a um, proprietary formula for this product. Mm -hmm. And you're correct. You're setting it into, um, typically it's a chalk type paint, mm -hmm. um, but you can also, and especially as people are experimenting and pushing the boundaries, use clear mediums. Yeah. People have used decoupage. Yes. Uh, decoupage medium mm -hmm. um, and and you can get multiple uses because the pigment doesn't all release on the first use you can get three oh. uses sometimes and the cool thing is is you That's get uh, it's a little different each time mm -hmm. so yeah we're really excited about that and the you mentioned that when you saw it you got excited about it and I I gotta say it's the most organic and tactile and art i want to say it's artisanal mm -hmm. as well more so than some of the other products um yeah. and it because you're using an actual art medium right it's very different and for different uses and different purposes yeah. so our transfers what people love about our transfers is that they're clean and quick and um and very straightforward yeah. to use and the inlays are more like Josie said they're artisanal and they are organic they're like a medium themselves and so you're getting in there with that product and really getting to play yeah. and right. you can because of the technique that's used to apply the inlays there are all kinds of techniques still left to be explored yeah. which i can't yeah. wait to see even more of what people do, do with it. yeah inlays because yeah. it's paint in paint yes. and we're yeah. at so that phase i think in the product sorry did it need to be applied to it did you say it needed to be applied to a damp paint like an almost yes. dry paint? right okay. yes you apply it into the wet paint mm -hmm. and then uh you allow it to dry and then you dampen it and peel it off and even the paper itself is the carrier sheet is a special yeah. um fiber and that is again like it's an organic um it's a pleasure to have in your hands mm -hmm. and when you guys play with it when we come you'll you'll yeah. know exactly what i mean <laughs> I <can't laughs> <wait. laughs> we get to have fun too <laughs> yes yeah well if we do because we're usually ticking off boxes on our list but yeah hopefully we will get to play yeah. as well but yeah, when I'm I'm gonna, you guys busy, are going to be busy, busy, but we'll try to steal you away and bring you over. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, when you're when gonna have on the video when you were pulling it back, and I've seen the, the imprint left behind, it was a yellow and a blue one. I can't remember what design it was. Um, but when you pulled it back, it instantly reminded me of, um, you know, the old fashioned printing blocks that you use on fabric. And yes. sometimes it doesn't all print out and sometimes it leaves a little bit of gap. It looked like that. It looked very, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's why everyone, it's every different. application is going to have your, as the artist, your handprint all over it because it's going to be different. You know, we all move differently and we apply differently and we apply our paint differently. And mm -hmm. so that's the beauty of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so exciting. And we're kind of in that stage, I think, in the new product journey mm -hmm. that um, the, the early adopters, the folks who get right in there and start using that, they saw it, um, are starting to push boundaries and play and experiment, experiment and try different things. And so come up with techniques, yeah. beautiful techniques. Love so it. that's when it's just so fun to see because, you know, we're two people. But then when we get it out to our community and they start doing and putting each of their own individual mm -hmm. spin on using it. That's our very awesome, most favorite part of what we yeah. do. Yeah. It's a process between you and them, that, isn't it? Which is great. Yeah. That feedback from um, people, from our, our customers who we consider our community. 
uh, that is everything to us. And so we obsess on that. When we see them lit up, it lights us up. Yeah. And that is what has been so amazing mm -hmm. um, with this new product is that as artists, as creatives, um, and as people who are aspiring to see themselves as creatives, because we already see everyone as creative, but sometimes it's a journey to see yourself as creative. Yeah. So um, seeing them just really it enjoy is. this process is, is everything. It's so reciprocal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like our true. relationship with our customers, I like to call them our community because it's so much more than a customer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so reciprocal. You know, we take something and it comes from a heart of like, I want to make our best for you. Yeah. I want to give this into our community for our people mm -hmm. and pour into it. And so then when then that's reciprocated with the joy of using the product and the different things, and we get so much um, feedback and emails and it, it, you know, it's been a process of getting it, mm -hmm. um, how much it, it, means, it to means to people. And when we get that feedback back, it's just, mm -hmm. it's like, it's our why. It's very, very personal. Yeah, and that's what I think has um, really been one of the biggest surprises for us is going into this business. It's how personal yeah. it has become to us. Yeah, it's too. so true. Um, and, and that's why releases are so much fun because we've been working on all of these things <laughs> special for our people scenes. and we can't wait to see their response to it and how, you know, do they love this the way we love this and yeah. do they understand and know what this is for and yeah. just that whole process um, is, is really fun. But I feel like we are talking A so lot. much. <laughs> opportunities for you guys to ask any questions or... yeah somebody said uh, susan kirkman said what made you decide to bring out the paint inlays she can't wait to try them mm. you know that was there was a um honestly a a, a discontentment and i think so many times it's a discontentment that fuels innovation and um, there was a discontentment and a, a kind of a yearning, not to be dramatic, um, kind of a yearning for something. I remember Sally and I having conversations about mm -hmm. it and, and saying, there was something just missing. Like, there's got to be a way to, to have a medium that is mm -hmm. more like actual paint to have, right. to be able to create an image like a transfer um, like a transfer is an image but to be able to do that um in a product that can be transferred but is more artisanal that is more that's like, just as like if, real paint as if yeah. you hand painted it there were yeah. some really funny like it was a three-year journey to wow. bring it to market and there were some funny um tries <laughs> like, let's just say that awesome. you know because we we really did brainstorm every possible way that this could happen and, and could, could yeah. work um and so there was i mean there were there were we would fly to different places and and factories to to play with them and see how that things could work um, and so it, it was just really funny that that oh, part yeah. of the process. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be very creative too, I suppose. Yeah. Long, three days, it's a long time. Yeah. Well, isn't it? Yes, it things. is. Trial and error and honing and looking at things from different part of the innovation and invent, invention process mm -hmm. is, um, you know, being willing to try try different avenues like okay this isn't working mm -hmm. because of this problem but rather than take a completely different road what if we approach it differently embraced this piece of the problem and came up with a different solution for that you know just a lot of yeah so even that's creative even that yes yeah exactly. Yeah, you have to be flexible. You can't just have a set idea in your head and expect it to work. You, you've got to find right. the why, haven't you? So, exactly. Because yeah. physics, it's like... It's a thing. It's a thing. 
<laughs> so does um can we expect any more wonderful innovative products coming always absolutely always <laughs> it's what we pride ourselves on that sets us apart yeah. from our competition it is is that we love to lead the way in this industry because we are artists and creatives ourselves so we know what you guys want because it's what and we, we want. will push yeah. to get yeah. it to you yeah, yeah true that's true so are you bringing a stockist will we be able to spend some money that's the thing and buy some of these products Ooh. I know that. Oh. well we're talking about that we're talking about different um creative ways we really um Whenever possible, we love to provide opportunities for our stockists to be that source. Yeah. Um, so cool. we are thinking through creative ways to make the product available yeah. to you guys and, and if um, how that might work. So we definitely want to. So stay yeah. tuned on that. <laughs> yeah. We were really surprised last year when, you know, we had our sponsors come along and they just brought, you know, at the last minute, just brought some products along and things and people were just wanting to buy. So now we've had to get a bigger haul just for the sponsors, just to have like a kind of shopping haul. Well, I think the thing is, is what we forget is, especially when you know about these products, like the sponsors that were there last year, none of them were brand new or anything. They were, they were industry standard, you know. Well, probably young um, never knew. And we, and so it's not that we didn't know about them, but sometimes when, especially because all the people that will be attending are furniture painters, they've got businesses or bricks and mortars or both. Yeah. Um, and you quite often get, it's not that you get stuck in a rut, but you use what you like and you use what you know works. Yeah, you know. yeah. Products in your hands, everybody's mind was like, mm, okay, a minute. And they all went and bought the products that they had tried mm. and seen demoed all day. Yeah. Because we don't know everything. We we just sometimes get stuck in that rut where we think we know the best products to use. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So this was, mm -hmm. you know, a real eye opener for professionals who've got, you know, the access to all these products, but just maybe never tried them. Well, also, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like stuck in your own business, don't you? You're you're stuck in your own business. You're working away. You've got to get that commission done, and and, you get and tunnel you vision. Know, yeah, tunnel vision. You never look up and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and where, who's got time to go from place to place or make contact? That's the with thing. Company? Yeah, efficiency. When you're in business, efficiency sometimes yeah. can trump creativity, and you have to be very intentional about remembering that Ooh. creativity is what got you started in yeah. this business yeah. in the first place. So, so yeah. um, pulling back and seeing okay i need to incorporate some new products some new tools some new way yeah. of doing things i don't have to reinvent the wheel i don't have to start from scratch but just pulling in a little bit um of of something new can blow your mind i mean yeah. it, it just can be a little bit of a pivot or a tweak yeah. and you can be off on a whole new direction so i agree yeah. it's a wonderful time and yeah. place to try out these things all in one place um in a safe environment where people are showing you how to use it yeah. and plus who doesn't love to shop i mean <laughs> i mean exactly. yeah who doesn't, who doesn't i mean i think we all have that in common we all like to shop and we all like to mess around with paint but you do yes get in your business and you stop being so creative and you do need to just loosen up sometimes and you know that it. is so so about. It's true. It's over. that's really the yeah. reason why we're having this event in the first place is because we understand that there's you know, like you said, you've got to be efficient if you want to run a proper business. You've got to be efficient. Make some and money. so as the time goes by, by the time you've done all of the things, because you've got to wear all the hats, the mm. creativity side of it, like you said, is the reason you started in the first place, smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. These sort of events do help you. You come away absolutely buzzing with ideas yeah. and feel that fire has been fueled again, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, so it's important. so true. And I think in in business in general, there's a tendency to, and even with startups, with, you know, vibrant startups with new ideas and, and so forth, when you get, start succeeding and it's working, there's a tendency to start playing it safe. To get comfortable. To get comfortable and, okay, this is working. Um, let's avoid risk. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's the yeah. risk that got you there. built oh, to the begin yes. with. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and actually, because you've, you know, it was a something you started this business because 
you enjoyed doing all these things and then and, and it was all your probably your hobby that turns into a business and then it is your business so what's your hobby you, you kind of feel like you're losing your creativity so and the joy that came with it and the joy that yeah. came with it and part of it's because the more i feel like it feels like the the more successful your business is becoming and it's working and it oh no <laughs> Hopefully they'll be back because you could. You, oh, there they are. Are. Um, <laughs> you don't want to mess it up. You don't want to risk um, losing business, yeah. you know, no. and it's such that's more dangerous yeah. than um, taking risks, continuing, you know, calculated risks, but mm -hmm. um, taking yeah. those risks and pushing the boundaries of creativity. Mm -hmm. And it's such a you, you don't want to play it safe. So staying yeah. safe is more dangerous than mm -hmm. taking risks and trying yeah, new things. Yeah. yeah. And remembering yeah. that. I think yeah. this year as well, everyone's starting to worry about money. So they're like, oh, can I afford to go? And 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 as women, we're really, you know, good at, you know, our kid needs to go on, on this trip or, or whatever, or we, we can't afford it. But it's hard to persuade people that actually you can't afford not to come because you, you you're, if, if, the, if your business dies, you know, you've just got to keep it going. And it's going to yeah, be the true. of the bitches this year, for sure. It's an investment sure. into your business. And mm -hmm. I think sometimes we struggle, right? In, in when we, especially when we start as hobbyists, yeah. we struggle with seeing our business as a business. Yeah. And I think that women struggle with this particularly um, yeah. more, more than men. Yeah. That yeah. we we tend to kind of put ourselves last and our yes. business is no exception, exactly. but we don't realize that investing in our business mm -hmm. is actually a blessing to our families. And yes. we yes. need to really get that perspective and understand that while, while they may not see the need for it, if I yes. can, um, prioritize my business then you know could be, it's, it's just the same as when you have a vision for something mm -hmm. not everybody is going to see that vision but if you know that you know then you just jump in and you you make that happen so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i always tell people that the first uh conference i ever went to was in canada which is where i met sarah and me and my husband had a huge row about me going and i'm like well but you go you got a you belong to a fishing club and it costs this much and da 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 da, da. what you didn't know was i'd already booked <laughs> <laughs> and i went and now he's like all the time you've got to go to that you've got to go to that he's that like, is so no. great yes yeah, that is yeah, awesome. i had lied i've already so booked much. it <laughs> To have, to have it's, your, it's hard your to... spouse's support yeah go on, sorry. is yeah, everything yeah, I mean, and that's what I wanted, and I, yeah, I did get it. I mean, it was again, it was a bit of a risk, I suppose, <laughs> but it certainly <laughs> paid off. He'll be there. You'll see him. He's there. He'll be helping. Nice. Oh, good, good. good. Yeah. And now he comes oh, with you. I love that. Explain. That's so awesome. And it's difficult to explain to people the the value that you get back and we're not just talking about the things that you're going to learn and the people that you're going to meet and the yeah. contacts that you'll make and the possible future work projects you may have with people. Mm -hmm. uh, because of where you meet them, etc. But it's not only just that. Like the um, the conference that Kate's talking about, that the very first one we went to was in Canada. It was a huge investment, mm -hmm. and at the time mm -hmm. I absolutely couldn't afford it. But I knew I couldn't afford not to go. Yeah. So yeah. we went. So I made a promise myself that I would make sure that I made that money when I got back. Yeah. And I did, and I made that money yeah. back yeah. as soon as I got back, and it was because of the conference I made there. Yeah, so we yeah, did some yeah, projects yeah. together and you know and i literally made the money back within about i don't know a month or so yeah you know yeah it's like so, an injection into your business just definitely yeah. you know and i and i think because we we've said it so many times a lot of us women we work from home or we work on our own and it's hard you know mm -hmm. to keep that enthusiasm going and it's only your encourage keep it going inspired. you know inspired so. yeah that is that is uh that is very true and we're balancing a lot we're juggling a lot of different hats a lot of different roles and sometimes from one minute to the next i mean josie and i can attest i mean we had a live a couple of weeks ago that was a hot mess because our child care fell through our nanny couldn't come at the last minute and so we had willow my 11 month old 
was here and she hmm. woke up in the middle of it and then she had a blowout. I don't know if you got, if in the UK you use the same term, but we know, we know what you mean. The no. <laughs> diaper ever. Oh, that kind of blowout. I thought you meant like ah, screaming. Oh, see, I thought I, I, thought I explained. <laughs> yeah, no, just, because you need to know that. You do. I do <laughs> need to know Well, I learned the term row with yes. your husband. I love, I love British. Oh, I'm going to use it. I know. I'm totally going to use the word row. I like rubbish instead of trash. Uh -huh. I love well, that's it. so funny. Yeah. Uh, it, it, our kids are our kids are now a little bit more Americanized because of all the TV shows. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. So like my son says the odd word and I'm like, Do you live in America? Yeah. 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 Well, I remember that's our so got British TV. Yeah. Yeah, we, we love we BBC. love BBC. So that's where it's I get a lot a of my world. uh British terms, but I hadn't heard Rao yet. But also Chris. Chris, um, our, it, yeah. our production manager, Chris, is in the UK in uh -huh. um what's the name of his town? Oh, um, you'll meet him. Bronte Village. Yes. And he wait, wait. is, he's wonderful. We love him. Um, but he uses terms all the time and I, and I love it. Um, chuffed. I'm chuffed about that. Oh, yeah, that. we know. Or, yeah, that's a great one. Uh, what was the one he, re I'll show, I'll be there with knobs on. That was totally <laughs> new to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, what does this mean? <laughs> well, and he also weird. has been able to tell us when we go oh. awry, with certain terms that we use top that shelf. means something really bad in England. We thought mm. top shelf means like the best of the best. And here it does, like top yeah. quality. And yeah. he said, you know, you might not want to use that like in marketing or anything because here it means where the, the poll magazines are kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, actually. Yeah. I mean, and uh, yeah, there's. I remember a paint brand, or maybe you should Google it, was telling me they were bringing out a wash and they were going to call it a French wash. Well, if you Google what a French wash is, you would not want to call your paint a French wash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you I mean. My sure. Oh! <laughs> oh, my. Oof. But, yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, no. dear. <laughs> yeah. And things like fanny packs. No, maybe you better not talk about fanny packs in the UK. Do you know what I mean? Oh, right. Yes, okay. I have heard that. Fanny pack is one. not what yeah. they are here. <laughs> but then we call them bum bags. I mean, it just, the whole kind of, you know. <laughs> there you go. It's modeled. Okay. But, I like oh, that better crazy. anyway. I like bum bag. That's yeah. cute. A, a cup of most of my American friends want to know our swear words. They're, they're fascinated <laughs> with, our, with our swear words. Yeah. They're all like, well, tell me another one. I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> they love tell listening to the one. swear words. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. We're going to have some fun, aren't we? So, oh, oh yes. I so when wait. you come over, how long are you over for? I know you have to so leave on be... the Sunday, don't you? What was that? So when do you come over? I know you have to leave on the Sunday. You're not going to be with us on the Sunday, are you? You're leaving. Yeah, well, we are coming early um, because for our stockists, we're having <laughs> actually just sent out the invites um, for we're having a mixer in Nottingham for our nice. stockists. Nice. So um, and potential stockists. So we're we're um, we're going to be coming early for that. But then we have to fly out. Yeah, is it Sunday night or Monday morning that we fly out? But okay. right after the conference, we okay. have to fly out okay. because we're a part of a creative retreat in the U.S. in Delaware. Oh, okay, okay, busy, busy, busy. busy. Yeah, yeah. You need to drag some of your stockists along with you because um, you know that's one of the. We have got a lot of stockists of different brands and different paints and things there. And I just think it's good. It's the first, it's first in the UK. I know it's like the norm over in North America for other brands to be at the same place, but this is literally a first in the UK for other different brands to be in one place at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. so excited. Yeah. And what a great lineup you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, we were like, so I mean, Annie's going to open the show. Annie Sloan's going to open the show on Friday. Yeah. She's that's what we heard. Know, it's going to be our headline awesome. act. <laughs> it is our headline act. And she did say she was very excited about seeing you two ladies. Yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. We always love our time with Annie. She's yeah. a gem. Yes. Yeah. 
so that's going to yeah Sarah chased her down for about two years and I'm like why are you bothering she's never going to say yes you know. <laughs> and she did yay she did, she did. Uh, and yes and all the the people coming well, we can't we're just so lucky Jonathan's a good friend of ours so we sort of forced him to come he had no choice we was going to <laughs> so good for you um it's good for you but he's so lovely I'm to just this is funny he's he's amazing and Brandy is a friend of mine she's come in and Chris Donna he's such a sweetie uh, yeah we love Brandy yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Randy, just, we, little known fact, lives very close to us. Lives like one town over. Oh, nice. Really? She's local. In fact, oh. I pass her. How I commute about forty minutes from our, from our hill. Or I'm in from a rural area, and yeah. I believe I pass her house like on the way home from work. Oh, really? I'll be knocking on the door. Put the cat on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just harass her. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and we've got um Chloe Kempster coming as well now. I'm not sure you must not well, you she was used to being Annie painter of residence, so she's coming. We forced her to come as well. She's like oh, terrified. So much talent. Yeah. I know. I am looking forward to being inspired to Josie yeah. and I having the opportunity to have our creative cups filled yes. as well. That's, that's true. That's true. That's yeah, true. yeah, 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 yeah. I think a couple of the brands last year did some work together. So that oh wow. Before that they hadn't even considered it. So yeah, you know, it's just amazing. That's so great. The collaboration the spirit of collaboration and yeah. sharing. Yeah. Art is that way, I think. The I'll more think. you're sharing it, the yeah. better it is. Yeah. When you know each other online. It's, it's wonderful that you've got that relationship online, but it's not the same as meeting them in person. So that- It's not, yeah, it's not. That, yeah, that continues and then builds to something bigger. But I think I said to Kate all the time, um, you know, when you get a bunch of women together, especially creative women, magic happens. It just mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. And if you know it, and I'll just think to be able to come to this event, especially if you're a brand, you're already thinking along those lines, you're already okay with that. And so you're halfway there. I just think this is an amazing opportunity for everybody. So I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's so yeah. it's so true. The getting in person and especially the last couple of years, that's been hard and oh, hasn't yeah. been able to be happening. Mm -hmm. And um, we are we had so like we're talk talk discussing our plans for the like the um, our retailer training, and we have had to pause that for a while and. It, you get hankery for it. You know, we think back and every time, the biggest takeaway from from getting together with people is that connection. Mm. It is, I mean, the art and the techniques and all that stuff is so important and so good, but we always, our takeaway from like yeah. our events is always that connection and mm -hmm. just the encouragement and the relationship that happens. Yeah, yeah. leaving yeah. space Absolutely. for that is so important. Yeah. Jonathan just said, uh, "Me too." He's really excited, really excited for being inspired and to come away with new ideas. Yes, so, we should have yeah. got him on with the, with these ladies as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. He normally, he normally hijacks our lives as well. <laughs> yeah, love him. He just pops in. That's it great. Does. Just love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, oh. it's, it's, not, it's just not long to go now. It's just coming out. Yeah. You know, really coming around quickly, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. I, mean, Kate, I so know, we've I know. Details and some stuff yeah. has been going on, and we've, we've been like this. Why are we doing this? And then, you know, <laughs> Some days when it's like that. Oh, it? we get that. Yeah. We get it. We get yeah. it when we have our, yeah. our uh, conferences yeah. that are not yeah. nearly as big well, as what you're doing. It's yeah. well, we um, came so thing. Kate came to mine last weekend or the weekend before because we needed to do some details. Um, we had to get drunk essentially because the stress. <laughs> Just tell him that. It's kind of like what you, I saw a meme, and I could so relate. Relate. My hungry self is frustrated with my healthy self, or my healthy self was doing the gro when your healthy self does the grocery shopping, and your hungry self gets angry later because you didn't get like the junk food. It's, stuff. it's like that, and like um and probably a higher percentage of creatives are this way where you have kind of a range of your you know i'm introverted and i need my down space and i'm overwhelmed and i just need to not be so engaged 
and then your outgoing engaged self and mm -hmm. when you plan a large event like this it's an emotional roller coaster kind of and you're going to have those moments where you're like what did i get myself what? into i'm overwhelmed mm -hmm. and this sucks <laughs> It's a really, really great idea. I'm still madly in love with the idea, but somebody else should be doing it. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we talk to you, and then I'm all inspired all over again. We're yeah. definitely doing it. Oh. You know, oh. it's great. It's really great. So yeah, it's good. It's good. I was literally laying on the. And sofa. when you show up, it's always good. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. You have. To, that's what you have to do. Push yourself. I always say to people, yeah. push yourself. Say yes yeah. to everything, even if it scares you. Just do it <laughs> nothing good happens in your comfort zone no sorry that's true, true. No. that is true gotta do the big scary thing yeah no, yeah oh and we can overwhelm ourselves by getting too um ahead of ourselves and i don't know about you but sometimes when i'm like should i go to should i drive into town to do that thing i wanted to do mm -hmm. then i start picturing the whole route <laughs> in my head and i'm like oh it's a lot <laughs> Maybe Instead of just saying, pick up the keys, walk out to the car one yeah. step at yeah. a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. for sure, for sure. Oh my goodness, we've taken up a lot of you. You're just starting your day. We're fine because we're ending our day. Oh, you guys are tired. Yes. Yeah, no, we're not tired. We're not tired. I'm just thinking of you. You, you probably need to go off and do some work. I'm going to just go <laughs> get on the sofa or something. Oh. Have a cup of tea. It has been a pleasure. Yes. Thank you for having us on here. You're welcome. We managed to do it in the end. Anytime you want, you can come and chat and jump on any of our lives anytime you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We would yeah. love that. Yeah. This has been fun. Yeah. We're so excited. It's going to be just so excited to meet you. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Really I can't wait. We're, we're just so looking forward to connecting with you guys and everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you so much for coming along. I know you're busy innovating new products and stuff. So <laughs> we appreciate the time. Thank you very Thank much. You. All right. Thanks, ladies. You yeah, soon. Can't wait to you. Thank you. Bye. You soon. Bye. 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 Take care. Aww.